if your device is running hot and your battery life is terrible most likely the reason is you are watching a lot of youtube and youtube itself is using a codec that is not hardware isolated on your older hardware uh, for newer laptop this may not be the solution but uh, if your hardware is couple of years old like me i am using a fourth generation i7 macbook pro uh, most likely youtube is using vp9 and it is not supported by my hardware so it is uh, using my cpu to uh, decode the video that is the reason my cpu is using too much and eventually my battery is uh, going down quickly so i was using safari exclusively for watching videos uh, but recently safari uh, stopped supporting uh, extensions like uBlock origin etc so uh, every time i need to watch a couple of parts to go through a video so uh, previously i tried to switch to mp4 or other uh, codec that is supported by my hardware using force youtube uh, to uh, pick up that codec but unfortunately it, is, uh, it didn't work so uh, I found H.264.5 that H.264.5 uh, that is a good extension but it, the enhanced H.264.5 is even better so I removed H.264.5 uh, and uh, currently I switched to enhanced H.264.5 so you can uh, manually block or enable uh, individual codec and uh, it works uh, like dream so let's see how it works so here i can you can see that i blocked vp9 so now i am going to enable vp9 vp9 and refresh the page as you can see uh, now i have options up to 4k uh, i can play 4k video on a 1080p screen or uh, 1400p screen my screen is 1400p so that is the maximum i needed but 1080p is also acceptable quality so uh, when I run this uh, video in VP9, uh, my CPU usage will be very high and it run very hot. As you can see, it is using a 61, 60 degree of CPU. Uh, so when I block VP9 and uh, refresh the page, as as you can see, there is no 4K option right now. There is up to 1080p. That is okay. I can live there with that. And it is using AVZ1. That is hardware accelerated. And uh, my CPU usage is very low. And the battery consumption is also very low. So uh, if bandwidth is not your concern, that means the new AV1. Sorry. Uh, here is the extension uh, the av1 extension is uh, the av1 codec is very uh, efficient so but it will also take a lot of cpu cycles to decode the video but if you are on a limited uh, connection and uh, you have a power outlet uh, your laptop or portable device is connected to power or the power is not uh, variable then you can run av1 uh, you can uh, switch to Firefox. Uh, Firefox is uh, picking up AV1 on my device. Uh, uh, so uh, otherwise VP9. Most of the time uh, Chrome is picking up VP9. And uh, if uh, battery life is more important and bandwidth is not what uh, is not a bottleneck, then uh, you can use uh, uh, H.264. Uh, so depending upon your situation you need to switch back and forth like sometimes h264 is better sometimes av1 or vp9 is better uh, sometimes you need uh, 60 fps and 4k then vp9 is the only option uh, right now on youtube so most likely your uh, reason for the older hardwares are running hot and uh, terrible battery life is the reason of unsupported codec like vp9 etc so always uh, take a look at uh, your uh, hardware specs and make sure uh, your software or uh, things are running at uh, optimal uh, spec anyway that's it for now thanks for watching and just a second this is openspeedtest.com an html5 internet speed test application you can run a speed test on almost all devices without installing any additional hardware sorry any additional software or apps uh, plugins uh,
okay anyway that's it for now thanks for watching have a good day this is vishnu bye